Hey guys, Zombie here, and welcome to the killer tier list, or the family member tier list for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The game has been out just over one week, and I still feel like some people don't know who the best killer is. By the end of this video, you'll know who the best killer is, and honestly, who you should see in every game, and if you don't, you should play this killer. If you enjoy, or if this helps you, please subscribe. So first up, we have Bubba up in his own tier, just because he has to be in every game, there's no way around it. He is very good, he, he's very fast if you know how to use his red and not overheat to just run. He does a ton of damage. Bubba having a strong start can really dictate the rest of the game. Obviously a downside is he can't fit through the small little cracks or through the little crawl spaces, but that's to be expected. Overall, not too much to say here. You want to make sure you destroy those crates that only Bubba can destroy and none of the killers can go through. And you want to assist your fellow killers when they're in chase just to try to add that extra support, add a ton of damage, and maybe cut off the, the victim on a different angle than whoever the other killer is chasing them. Next up is Cook, and I feel like a lot of people just don't understand how powerful Cook is. He is above and beyond the best killer in the game, N not even close. It's not close whatsoever. Cook can single-handedly win you games where you kill everyone while you're solo queuing and no one is calming, just with the amount of slowdown and detection he provides to the team. In case you don't know, Cook's ability is he can listen and hear uh, victims through walls when they're running or making any sort of noise. But his real, real crazy power comes from the fact that he spawns in with three padlocks he can use on just about any door. Some doors you can't use them on, like the basement doors or the, the door that goes into the slaughterhouse, but any quote-unquote normal door that isn't one of those sliding metal ones, he can put a lock on, including the gates. This forces the victims to break another lock before they can continue on that path. And especially right now, a lot of victims struggle with fuse box escapes going through the basement and the valve escapes getting the valve, putting it on the little boiler thing, and then escaping through that door. Not only does it slow them down, Cook can see his locks through walls when he uses the ability that allows him to see his teammates through walls as well as nearby blood pools that you can grab to feed uh, grandpa with. But from across the map, you can know if a victim is going a certain path and then you know where to focus your defense because at least as of right now in the first week, this is uh, August 26th, just over a week after the game came out, victims tend to tunnel one exit once they start working towards it. They, they don't tend to pivot, at least not right now. I think we'll start to see that a lot more soon, but right now there's a lot of tunneling on the one route they decided on at the very beginning of the game. Throughout this video, you'll be seeing Cook gameplay, and the first game I'm going to put on is a game where my teammates were pretty bad. Uh, Sissy and Bubba were both pretty bad, but we still managed to kill all four of the victims through a combination of slowdown and even though Cook is very slow in terms of his running speed, being able to pressure the victims out of the certain areas where they're trying to escape from, which allows my teammates more time to potentially catch them, which they struggled with, but you, you'll see. We still get we still managed to kill everyone and it, it doesn't come down to being close really at all the whole time. Something else to mention about Cook, his default blood harvesting is pretty good. Uh, and I personally increase that with my skill points, my attribute points, which also allows you to single-handedly push grandpa pretty far, pretty fast. Most games I'm feeding grandpa to level one before anything, like that's how grandpa wakes up. Unless for some reason, victims are making a ton of noise separately from opening a basement door. Overall, Cook is just far, far and away, just the greatest, greatest, greatest killer in this game right now. We might see a rebalance at some point, either to make other killers stronger, which I think we should see because victims are very strong, or to make Cook weaker, which I would be sad about, but who knows? We'll see what happens in the coming weeks and months. And if anything like that ever happens, I'll adjust the tier list and make another video. So again, make sure you subscribe if that's something you're interested in. Next up is Sissy, and she's going to be down here in B tier. Sissy is very good in a team dynamic. Oh, I should state this first ranking is going to be based on a solo queue mentality, but I'll in this same video adjust it to be for a, a full stack of, you know, three people communicating. But in terms of solo queue, Sissy's down in B. She doesn't really have anything that helps the team that much. She's good in chase because when she hits someone, they get poisoned and they can't really run straight, which makes getting a kill fairly easy. 
especially considering since he can go through the crawl spaces and through those uh, little uh, tight areas through walls. For poison cloud and, and poisoning certain things like the valve or, or health pickups or toolboxes doesn't really do too much. I think she detects them through the wall at that point, but I mean, what's she going to do? By the time she gets there, that they're going to know that she's coming and be somewhere else. Her blood harvesting is okay, and that honestly becomes most of your role as Sissy because... As, it, as you guys know, if you've played Killer, there's a lot of downtime or quote unquote downtime where you don't really know where the victims are or they're in the basement and it doesn't make sense for you to commit yourself down to the basement. So you're kind of relegated to picking up blood. But if you have Cook, you really shouldn't be doing that either because Cook has pretty good blood harvesting too and he's much slower. So it makes more sense for someone like Sissy to potentially chase to the basement or chase further across the map. Overall, just not not a great pick in a, in a solo queue dynamic to, to perform well. And once again, at the end of this video, I'll readjust this for uh, a full three stack. Next up, we have Johnny. Johnny is fast, he hits hard, and he can find hiding victims. Again, he doesn't have much in terms of slowdown. However, in chase, he can hit very hard. Unfortunately, he cannot go through the crawl spaces or the little holes in the wall. However, if victims do try to you know, go through those areas and then hide, his ability allows him to find their tracks and then track them to wherever they're hiding, which is very strong. And even beyond that, if you see any of your teammates in chase, Johnny can hop right in. He's fast. When he swings, he doesn't lose speed, unlike the other killers who lose, I think, at least a little bit of speed. I feel like Cook and Sissy, when I swing, I lose some speed. I, mean, I think Hitchhiker too. Uh, Bubba definitely does. Johnny really doesn't lose speed when he's swinging. He's he's very quick and he also hits almost as hard as Bubba with a normal chainsaw swipe, not, not the revved one, just a normal one. Overall, Johnny, again, not great in terms of slowdown. He doesn't provide really any slowdown at all. However, he is a massive threat. He does a ton of damage and can help find hiding victims, especially when if you have Cook or Bubba trying to, to chase and they can't follow through those little holes in the wall or the little crawl spaces, you can go either on either side of that crawl space or hole in the wall and try to track them. And if they're just hiding nearby, he'll find them very quickly. And then once again, Johnny's very strong and he's quick. So if they run out of stamina, they're pretty much dead. You're gonna hit them a few times and they just, you know, unless it's Anna's ability and she makes it to a well, they're just not gonna survive for more than a few hits. Johnny's very strong in terms of his literal damage output. Next up, we have Hitchhiker. And I think this is the biggest discrepancy between a solo queue Hitchhiker and a team dynamic Hitchhiker. In terms of solo queue, I actually think he's down here as probably the worst. His traps are very good in terms of slowdown. However, it's not nearly as good as Cook as they can use a bone scrap to dis disarm it and it won't give you a notification. And even if you do catch them, generally as Hitchhiker, you're going all over the place because you're a little bit faster than Cook. You have to get all the way there and he doesn't do a ton of damage. Similar to Cook, Cook doesn't do a lot of damage either. The issue with Hitchhiker is he's not as good in the blood harvesting department and he also doesn't do a ton of damage. And unfortunately, his form of slowdown is, I would, I would consider, pretty significantly worse than Cook's. Of course, Hitchhiker can go through the crawl spaces and little holes in the wall. However, like I said, he does little damage, and unlike Sissy, he doesn't really have a great chase mechanic at all. Sissy hits them and they, they can't run straight, and sometimes you just you can keep gaining distance or keep closing the distance as Sissy and keep getting hits over and over until they eventually die, even though Sissy also has low damage. Hitchhiker doesn't have that, so you hit them once or twice and they just run away, and then you can keep chasing them, but at some point they get to either a well or they get to one of those crates that only Bubba can break and becomes an infinite. He struggles in chase. His slowdown is in the right setting amazing, but in solo queue, I would argue it very much isn't. So unfortunately, even though he's very, very, very strong in the game, in solo queue, I think he's probably the worst killer. That might be a hot take. Let me know if you disagree with me. Now, if you are in a full team of three people, you know, you and two others who you're talking to, you're communicating, thinking about team comp, Hitchhiker moves all the way up to S. The slowdown becomes great in that regard because you're talking, people can watch your traps with you rather than you having to focus on everything by yourself. If you get in chase, you're like, hey, Bubba, hey, Cook, hey, whoever, Sissy, Johnny, I'm over in this area, I'm chasing, you know, I don't want to lose them. Generally, if you have two people, two killers in the chase with a survivor, or sorry, two family members in the chase with a victim, you're going to fare pretty well. Also, when you're on a full team, you can coordinate Cook's padlocks and Hitchhiker's traps. And I think that's really good because you put Cook's locks on the doors that are harder to see. For example, on gas station, you put it, you put the two, you put one padlock on the one that goes out to the front where they can escape up the road. You put one 
on each of the quote unquote side gates that go to each of the respective exits in the, in the front and the back. And then you use Hitchhiker's Traps to trap the two gates that you can see from like the quote unquote main road on gas station. And you have one more to play with too. If you want to put it by the car battery or put it by the generator or put it by the door that, you know, wherever you want to put it. But you end up with a, a strong lockdown on the entire map. Forces the victims to either force their way through your traps, which is going to be very hard because they're pretty going to be pretty exposed and most of you know you and your teammates are going to have pretty good eyes on those two gates for most of the game or they have to fight through the extra lock on the outside gates which cook is has his locks on and if they break them you know where they're trying to go and ideally you push them off the locks before they can even break them overall the team of bubba cook and hitchhiker is probably the best combo in the game obviously bubba's forced to be there cook is probably the greatest and, and Hitchhiker is great too. I also think, strangely enough, I think Johnny's very strong. I think Sissy becomes even stronger in a team dynamic. The hiding doesn't matter as much when you're in a full team because you and your teammates are constantly checking all of the gates, all of the valves, the fuse box, the fuse, you're keeping, you're keeping your eye on things. So if you lose a, a victim, it doesn't really matter because you're so actively monitoring all of the escape possibilities. Now, he is strong in terms of his, his raw strength and, and damage output. But again, if, if you're communicating, you don't really need the crazy damage output because you get two or three family members on, on a chase, probably two. And all of a sudden, you have they can't really do anything unless they get to a well, in which case you let them chill in the basement while you make sure everything is okay topside. You know, so Sissy is going to be great when you're in a team dynamic because, or better than potentially Johnny, you have Cook's lock somewhere, and then Sissy can put her poison on things like the valves and fuses that are inside the map before you go outside of the gates or the front door on Family House or the back door towards the exit gate in the parking lot. You have a lot of opportunity to get information on the victims trying to get alternate objectives, meaning, you know, the fuse box or the valve. I honestly could see it where you could consider johnny maybe stronger i think this is i think they're pretty close let me know what you think in the comments because i'm i'm kind of back and forth in my head but I, I think this is the correct orientation so this is the final full team tier list do you agree with this tier list do you agree with the tier list for solo queue let me know in the comments down below